A state public education rule is at the center of a new lawsuit. That rule says teachers are not allowed to speak against standardized testing. News 13's Alex Goldsmith spoke to one of the teachers suing and the state. He's here with the story. Jessica, this lawsuit comes as park testing remains in the spotlight for many. But PD says the timing of this lawsuit caught them off guard. The kids are the best part of my job. Mary Mackey has been a teacher for 20 years, seven of those at Montezuma Elementary School. She'd like to give some parents advice on the park test, but... We have been told you are not to speak to parents about the test specifically. Under a little-known PED rule, teachers aren't allowed to, quote, diminish or disparage standardized tests. I don't like feeling guarded about what I should say to my neighbors. That rule is now at the center of a lawsuit filed by the ACLU against the state on behalf of five teachers, a parent, and a student. It's unconstitutional. You're telling people they cannot speak critically of their government, and that's fundamentally unconstitutional and un-American. Current PED Secretary Hannah Scandera says the lawsuit caught her off guard. The rule in question was put on the books in 2009, and she says her administration hasn't enforced it at all. Quite frankly, we've done nothing. I, I mean, I, I just I haven't even paid attention to it. Scandera says teachers should absolutely have a voice, but questions whether teachers slamming tests in the classroom is the right place to do it. It's important that it's not just about what we don't say, it's about what we do and making sure that we emphasize the importance and the value of our education and the importance of excellence. And so finding that balance is crucial. Now I also reached out to former PED Secretary Veronica Garcia, who was in charge when that rule was put in place. She says the intent of that rule was never to silence teachers outside of the classroom. Back to you, Jessica. All right, thank you, Alex. PD says it will take a look at that rule. If it decides it needs to be changed or removed, they can do that without legislative approval.